Young and Ace got his ass locked up. Uh, the Jacksonville rapper Young and Ace was locked up on possession of firearm charges. Seems like uh, that's 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 the thing that they they use to get y'all arrested and being called a gang member. Police say the 26 year old was in a car with several loaded guns, and as a felon, he can't be in a vehicle with nope, guns. You can't. Atia Collins was in court today for his first appearance. And she is joining us live from the jail tonight. Atia, how did police come to find this rapper with guns? Keontae Bullard was inside an SUV that was stopped for running an intersection in Jacksonville Beach Monday night. Officers say inside that SUV they found seven guns, including a rifle, a Draco, and a handgun, which they say were in immediate reach of Bullard. Rapper Young and Ace had his first court appearance after Jacksonville Beach police arrested him after finding loaded guns in the SUV he was riding in. According to the arrest report, six people were inside the SUV. Officers say they found seven loaded guns. The driver, LaShawn Worthen, was arrested for driving with a suspended license. The remaining passengers were not arrested. Our crime expert says as a convicted felon, Boulard cannot be around guns at all. They shouldn't be in a house with them. They shouldn't be in a car with them. In this case, it was in close proximity within within reach or what they call wingspan. Boulard's felony conviction stems from a 2017 case for his involvement in an attempted armed robbery. Boulard was arrested again in 2018 for violating his probation after he survived a shooting that left three dead, including his brother. According to Jacksonville police, Boulard is the leader of a gang called ATK, which stands for Ace to Kill. Bachman says this gang involvement and his past convictions will play a role in this latest arrest. Uh, depending on what kind of record the individual has, uh, they could be pursued federally based upon this particular state charge. Now, Bull, I did reach out to Bullard's attorneys. They tell me they are still working on case details and could not provide me next step information. However, a bails bondman that was here in court uh, today says that Bullard does plan to bail out. Reporting in Jacksonville, Tia Collins, First Coast News on your side. Well, that's kind of crazy that he actually has a bond because he, uh, I think, violated probation. Usually a VOP, you don't even get a bond. But um, it's just sad, man. For one, why y'all had that many guns, bro? Y'all need security, bro. Not a bunch of, not a bunch of homeboys riding around in the big in in a, in a uh, SUV with seven loaded guns in the in the car. Y'all got rifles, Dracos, like. Why young black men are running around like we live in Iraq, like we are at war? And if we are at war, we ain't at war with nobody but each other. That's what makes it so stupid, man. God, goodness gracious, man. Call these boys can't get right. I mean, you give them opportunity, they get millions of dollars, man. They have fans all over the world. They get love from all kind of women. And they still got to goddamn be buffoons and, and ride around with guns and, and take too many drugs. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just don't make no sense, man. You you want to say free young and ace, but in free NBA young boy, but sometimes the stupid is the stupid does. You know what I'm saying? Y'all act like y'all love jail. Y'all act like that's what y'all want to be. So, yeah, you know, I just can't, I can't make any excuses for. This bullshit that these folks got going on. So get it together, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, cut that monkey shit out. You embarrassing us, rappers. All that bullshit. So yeah, man, we're going to actually take a quick break, man. We've been talking for quite some time right now. Uh, so we 